Good morning, hello. We're trying to think about how to do this intro differently, but it is day nine of Triple Ripple James takes on the Decker. Yeah. You're walking a bit gingerly this morning, James. No, no, I'm okay. What's, what's going on with your legs, Ayrton? No, 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 they're okay. Are you any more like in pain than you have been the last few days, or is it all just blurred into the same? I don't, know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know honestly there's like mad stuff mm -hmm. happens like one of my quads were hurting last night and every time I woke up drenched in sweat I like rubbed it and uh, like that's magically got better overnight <laughs> So I think like sweating and rubbing. I think it's like one of them Indian sweat lodges maybe in the van. It's like doing all the good juju for me. <laughs> so I've just got all spiritual now, I think. Brilliant. Well, when they read the penultimate day, loads of people are now coming out to support you. So you're looking forward to that. People oh, coming out I honestly, I cannot tell you the difference it makes. Mm, I just, yeah, it's brilliant to see everybody. And um, I'm just sorry that I can't like <laughs> spare anything. <laughs> To, to even like stop and chat because it's just taking everything I've got really. When you finish this thing you need to pencil in about five days for like comment replying, video watching, <laughs> yeah. speaking to people, you're going to be like yeah. inundated. Apologising about Cheesecake Gate. Yeah. <laughs> I've been worrying a lot. The last two that. days after the event you've sat us down and apologised to us so <laughs> wondering if I'm going to get a hat trick tonight. It's looking like a lovely morning. I'm going to try and get out on the bike course. I'll see you out there somewhere. Yeah, Some good. pictures and stuff so make sure, nice make sure you look there. good. It's yeah. lovely out there, isn't it? So. Yeah. All right, let's get started. Thanks, stuck. everybody. Keep donating. Please yes. put some money on just to get me going these last two days. The link's down below. I need it. Please just put a little bit. Of, put a pound on. You could put a pound. I don't think mm -hmm. anybody's put a pound on. No. But if everybody puts one pound on, <laughs> yeah. that's probably lots of pounds. I mean, if everybody does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. everybody. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. Put a pound on. Brilliant. Matt's just doing an Instagram. I would say bow. What are you hashtagging? I need to be at my desk with a laptop or a <laughs> PC to do my Instagram. Matt uses social media on a desktop, doesn't use it on a phone. Um, which I'm sure a lot of you might not be surprised by. <laughs> so, Matt, we've just learned some information this morning that um, James's Ultra Ironman yesterday was faster than your <laughs> ever Ironman. My, Ironman it. my only ever Ironman in the world. Yeah. I didn't even realise it was, I didn't even consider that he was doing a longer than a normal Ironman today and he was still faster than me. <laughs> but Wales is hilly. Wales is hilly, exactly. you know, it's not eight days, eight Ironman hilly. It's hilly. Brilliant, okay, it's gonna be a nice day today. Okay, it's about 9 a.m. James swam 122 again, led the swim out, didn't he, thanks? Yep, uh, second out. Oh, was he? Oh, okay. Well, looks good. Gonna... No, he's first in the Decker. Oh, sorry. Yeah. It was a person, oh, somebody asked, why are there more people starting in the water than there are doing the Decker? Because some people are doing one swim a day. So at 9 a.m. he's done a couple of laps on the bike and he's come in and indicated to you what? <laughs> uh, there might be brown stuff <laughs> running down his leg. <laughs> we think he trusted a Trump that shouldn't have been trusted. So the relevant supplies are being put into transition tent and he's going to come off the bike and deal with that. Uh, Matt and Saxby were just discussing whether previous experience is an advantage or whether James needs to be initiated into into doing it. So, very like tech gloves. <laughs> oh, Triple man. wraps. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Matt did say for his incident, he had to get a mop and bucket. <laughs> so hopefully it's not that bad. Oh my God, this trip's got all sorts. Anyway, I'm going to go to a shop run to buy more Philadelphia. I feel like that's not going to help this situation. <laughs> James says his stomach is feeling a lot better. He's back on top of his nutrition now. He's been eating lots of stodgy, plain, simple carbs, thanks to the advice of Total Endurance Nutrition on hand remotely. Back on it. I think he's got about 20 minutes on now, second place. So he's not panicking. He's just going to keep tapping away, stick to his own plan, and the ball's in the other guy's court, isn't it? If he wants to catch James, he needs to do something about it. So we'll see what happens in that regard. So I'm just out on the bike course to get some super sick bike shots. I know I've only been like in the transition area and those shots are rubbish, but I've been busy supporting him all week. I do have a half Ironman in two weeks and an Ironman in six weeks, but nobody here cares because they're doing 10. So I'm trying to just do a little bit of bike riding in between seeing James, like 20 seconds random sprints etc but anyway as long as i get time to edit it cue super sick reel of james on the bike
I came back at HQ, what was it, like three o'clock, quarter to two, three, quarter to three, three o'clock? He's near, not far finished the bike, is he? He's on his last lap. Uh, been within five minutes, yeah. How's he been this morning? Really good, high spirits. Sort of Fully enough yeah. eating yeah. everything we've asked him to eat. Oh, could all change on the run there, couldn't it? It could do, but mm. yeah, it'll be alright. Hopefully the cheesecake isn't too biscuity today. What else was it? Rice too ricey. Too ricey. Cheese is too cheesy. Yeah. That's all I thought, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Cool. And Harvey and Jenna here, which means our life is They've a lot better, isn't it? And Paul. So, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. We're laughing for expert advice today. Awesome. It's good. So he's about a lap up on his second place competitor, isn't he? He's, he's lapped him. Up. Yeah, I saw yeah, that. Lapped him on the bike. Yeah. <laughs> So it's cruising. However, a lot can still go wrong, can't it? There's a lot of miles to run, 27 and a half to be exact. So hopefully pull it together, it's got a good gap. Yeah, I think at the minute we think is probably an hour up overall. He's here. And he's, yep, he's here, so. We're together, all right. <laughs> good, sir, yeah. Good. Had a bit of a wobble mm -hmm. um, uh, between my 30 and 55. Just, right. Um, felt terrible. Mm -hmm. um, but it, had, it, it felt like I was low on calories, yeah. but I don't think I was, but there was even physical things like my skin felt uh, as if it was flushed. Right, okay. And um, my stomach was uncomfortable for the yeah. first time ever. Yeah. I know, we go away for two days and, uh, oh, right. and it's poorly poorly. They tried to feed me um, cheesecake. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I like this finger. Plenty of fluids. And yeah. uh, we uh, soft foods, trifles. Yeah. Trifles are good. Uh, really they've probably got a list of things that don't like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They've yeah, yeah. 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 I was on Rivet yesterday and I went for it. Yeah. James, I was going to say, are we racing today? Mm, we'll see how we go. Look, no. right. All right, you crack on. See if we put some Talk to you about your stomach issues. What we saying, cramps or anything? No, everything's fine apart from that. I went middle of bike ride. James wanted an ice cream about three days ago. We keep forgetting to get him one. You got an ice cream? Yeah. Twister. Good You've one. been back five minutes yeah. and I've got an ice cream. <laughs> Let's yeah, yeah, people wonder why I like them. <laughs> That's Harvey and Jen, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out for a bike ride with them today. Yes, yeah. Good. 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 Everything's good, yeah. yeah. Uh, it was a, uh, a surprisingly good swim because it yes. felt like a struggle. 122. Yeah, wow, okay. But it did feel like a struggle. Yeah. Couldn't get sight in. There were glimmers on water that I thought yeah. were boys. It was a nightmare. Yeah. The bike. Uh, w overall was brilliant yeah. and um, put some good time in and everything but I had like about 25 miles so mile sort of 30 to 55 mm -hmm. where I had some sort of gastric problem mm -hmm. and really felt a bit unwell I think really for the first time in the whole event yes, I would say but obviously um, the, the crew pulled me around yeah. and and got me going again and then it all come good so yeah okay. perfect so right. today's just red hot yeah so i'm just going to try and bang this marathon out without too much drama if possible exactly no more drama please brilliant <laughs> before seeing you get on oh yeah and i've right. got some inventions oh god <laughs> and if i mention them on youtube yeah nobody can steal them okay go on then energy gels yeah that taste like honey yeah that's number one number two <laughs> Chewy sweets mm -hmm. that taste like lychees. Right. Fruit drinks that's lychee juice. Mm -hmm. And um, last but not least, small pouches of yeah. squeezable, pre mashed up with butter and salt, baked potato. And I thought, like, just as this is just an idea, mm -hmm. that we could call them Harvey's Paste. <laughs> but that name is not, or well, not stuck on the name. <laughs> that's not a deal breaker. You can't afford to have equity as well. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, yeah. that, that's another, I All think, right. a brilliant endurance invention. Awesome. Have a good one. Thank you. See you. I bet that was a long way for you, but yeah. <laughs> He's full of it, isn't he? So you can tell early on in the run, he's really quite chipper. But I think he's controlled it today. He's got about an hour's lead now on second place. He's got 27 and a half miles to run, so anything can happen. But that's a solid lead, so he's definitely taken his foot off the gas a little bit. But as he said the last few days, the marathon is so hard, he's just got to keep running. I think he's having a few little walks, like he says, you know, having ice cream and stuff, so 
let's hope it continues as this is. Okay, so I know there's quite a lot of people watching these videos who don't normally watch these videos, so I'm about to break a few hearts. You might have been thinking, how's that handsome, handsome man? Stop laughing. <laughs> handsome, handsome man got a lady partner. Well, unfortunately for you, but fortunately for me. <laughs> yes, this is Elizabeth. Hello. Liz. Hello. You okay? Yes, brilliant. Thank you. Glad you to join us once all the hard work's done. Yeah. <laughs> You're coming in for the next couple of days, aren't you? Yeah. Glory lag like, watching days eight, uh, nine and ten. Cannot wait. You've been at work, haven't you? Yes. Good, okay. You, and you're also not joining us camping, are you? No. <laughs> you booked an Airbnb. I've got a nice little barn conversion <laughs> about 20 minutes away. Brilliant. Okay. Well, you, you see James that lap? You were talking to him, so I just uh. didn't interrupt. <laughs> <laughs> you're learning, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. I forgot last time I was talking to you. Yeah. And I was saying that I had the worst time I'd ever had during the thing. Yeah. I had to stop and go to use the lavatories. Yeah. And when I came out, I was feeling really sorry for myself, mm -hmm. pushing me back across the car park. <laughs> and I hear this voice, James! James! I turn around and there's a bloke that I've never seen before in my entire life. Yeah. With his missus. Yeah. I said, James, well, I've been watching you on YouTube and I just wanted to say, I think it's brilliant what you're doing and well, good luck. Awesome. Mate, it was a game changer. Brilliant. That's it would, he, he has no idea what difference he made. Awesome. But that was the beginning of me starting to feel better. Thank you very much to whoever that was. Yeah. Drop a comment down below. Unless James has completely made that open, which case don't. <laughs> you couldn't have <laughs> No. Well done, mate. Sidespear, so, you reckoned that this was the easiest job in the world while you're stationed, but now you reckon it's the hardest. Would you like to tell us the reasons why well, it's the I hardest? didn't think it was the easiest oh. job. My colleagues right. insinuated that I might have the easiest job, mm -hmm. but it's definitely not the easiest job. You stopped making a list, didn't you? Yeah, just to remind me. So, basically sat here, you get like, bitten to death by midges, mm -hmm. which they don't get up there. Mm. Um, twice, there's been dogs do big piles down there and the wind wafts it into my face for ages <laughs> obviously I'm ginger and I'm in the sun and they're in a nice tent yeah so like it's not easy at all and every lap I have to run up that hill and back down and like it's dead tiring <laughs> so it's not easy at all they've got it well easier and there's four of them you brave soldier thank you <laughs> Bins in for good views. Uh, Matt, I've had a comment that I'd like to read to you. Um, Just going to be one of those live reactions where I break down in tears. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> if you could, please, it's good for views. All right, I'll try. Um, something about James being a good leader. We'll ignore that. Um, keep the coverage coming. Plus, it's very, it's great to see slash hear more from Matt. Dry, but very funny. He is, in fact, Triathlon Dan's version of GCN's Dan Lloyd. <laughs> I'll tell you, that was a compliment, yeah, actually. Good. Yeah. Um, and actually, that's probably the one person that gets my form of humour that I think is humour most yeah. people think I'm just being difficult I think it's humorous as yeah. well we thought you were more um, Alex Dowsett's Dr Hutchinson that's who we thought you were Alex what sorry Alex Dowsett's um, buddy Dr Hutch oh yeah Hutch yeah, yeah. I bet he uses Instagram on a desktop machine as well if he <laughs> uses Instagram at all I bet he does <laughs> <laughs> brilliant how's James going uh, good, I think, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've only just come back from doing his bike, but I think he's sort of... What was the um, urine level today? Uh, quite high today, Ooh. plus uh, some questionable brown content. I'm not really sure <laughs> if it's oil or <laughs> other. Matt, there's one more to go. <laughs> I wore the gloves anyway. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, you guys probably are nowhere near as happy as I am to see these two faces. Good afternoon, Jen and Harley. Hello. Hi. You okay? Mm -hmm. All good. good. Good, nice couple of days away, yeah. away from here. Yeah, yeah, great. Doing loads of work and stuff. Although all we thought about was James. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, a bit weird, but okay, I, I, understand, I understand it. So you've been back this afternoon and you've been fueling him on the run. How has he been? It's fine. Oh, kind of back to routine, I think. Now, now we're back. It's you know, absolutely so frustrating. Yesterday he was right diva, and today you do it here and it's absolutely pleasant. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, I think yesterday seemed to up intensity a little bit. Mm -hmm. but it seems to be back to kind of strategy today. Mm -hmm. yeah, good. The only one concern we do have is a little bit of pain in his one of his quads, yeah. for obvious reasons. Uh, he had a pain in his other quad last night and Kate massaged it a bit and then he said it was fine overnight. And now this, this, this is the other one. Interestingly, she didn't massage the other leg, I don't think, so maybe, maybe we should do some to both. But we're just debating painkillers, but James hasn't taken any painkillers all week. So if there was a time now, might be the time. We've seen a lot of people taking loads of pills. So yeah, it's good. Look forward to tomorrow, you guys seeing it in. Yeah, can't wait. Good. Can't wait. Good. All right, see you in a bit. Back down. Over. That is what James Saxby does all evening. 
stairs so actually have a kind of stellar. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't think I've sat down since 5 a.m. <laughs> James, oh, here we go. Come on, girl. Yeah. Come on in. 299 to go. <laughs> Um, James has just come past, so a few laps ago he said that his quad was hurting. We didn't think too much of it. He's had some ibuprofen, has he? Yeah. Yeah, his first painkillers of the week. That's amazing in itself, isn't it? Uh, Day nine, and it's the first yeah. time he's needed anything. Oh dear. Um, he's in a bit of a pe the hurt locker, isn't he? Yeah, he's in a dark place. He's got seven laps to go, has he? Don't know. Seven or eight, something like that. And his quad's really hurting him. He's not talking. You can see in his face it's really hurting and he's still got a long way to run, so he's got time in the bank to be able to walk some, but I think the danger is if he starts walking, he might not start running yeah, again. Never know what might happen, yeah. yeah, so the further he can get in, it's probably still gonna hurt walking, so the further he can get into it. The thing is, although he's got a gap to second place, he this is still super hard to actually finish, so he needs to get around today, and then he needs to get around tomorrow. Come on, James. Hey, mate, are you okay? Getting tough, is it? Uh, yeah, um, yeah, no, it's all right. It's not too bad. That's a dream. What's yeah. it like? Nothing, nothing. It's just yeah. it's fine. It's fine. It's just done um, nine like marathons. That's what the rest of your body. Yeah. I'll tell you what I've discovered. Yeah. My playlist isn't long enough for a decker. Yeah. Brilliant. That was one question somebody has asked. What music are you listening to at different points in the run? Um, I just have a Amazon Music playlist that just yeah. plays through, yeah. um, and it does nine complete marathons. I've discovered. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, eight and a half yeah. complete marathons because it's, it's got back to the beginning again now. New playlist required. Um, and it's full of the maddest stuff you could ever possibly imagine. Yeah. So loads of pop stuff, loads of rap, loads of rock, yeah. loads of advert theme tunes. <laughs> um, <laughs> All sorts of mad stuff. You're made of the maddest stuff I could possibly imagine as well, so <laughs> yeah. that's your street. Lots of 90s stuff from my era. Yeah. Liz just yeah. said to me, so how long is this going for? <laughs> <laughs> I think the answer is a long time. Yeah. <laughs> I know. All right. That loads of people are telling me they're enjoying the videos. Wicked. That's so good loads to hear. Of You're very nearly at seven grand as well. That's amazing. Six That's amazing. If, I was thinking just everybody just puts a pound on. Yeah, exactly. Hey, what about Brav? Have they done out yet? Uh, I don't know, I'll have a look. Check if Brav so. have done out, then I'll show you my socks. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, see you later. Well done, James. Thank you. Good work. That one? Yeah. It's for Elliot Carpets. Perfect. And my mate who sponsored me, and he's not going to get anything out of this, is he really? But he did it because he loves his mate and I love him too. So thank you, Ross, and all of the guys at Elliot Carpets. Thanks. Yeah. Brilliant. James, number nine, done and dusted. Yes. Bang on the pace you did the day before last, before you. Well done. Love you. Thank cool. you. Keep going, mate. James got a bit of bromance going off. That guy. He's a legend, before, that's who he is, yeah, by the way. Before this week, he'd not done a triathlon. <laughs> <laughs> Two weeks ago, he bought a wetsuit. <laughs> he'd been doing most of his bike training indoors, <laughs> and he's on day nine of a decker. Well done, mate. Well done, mate. Well done, mate. Like, that is incredible. He has done the marathon de Sable, so he has got some running oh, credentials yeah. and some toughening out credentials. But anyway, James, day nine understood. Mm -hmm. Gone to plan? Yes, now it's finished, mm -hmm. yes. Although it was horrendous, that mm -hmm. one. That was the toughest by far. Right. Um, uh, you were very full of yourself on the bike, you were very positive, so is it changed yeah, the Yeah, well, no, 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 no. It went wrong. I had like a bit of a catastrophe on the bike. Yeah. Had some GI issues, yeah. and then you know, along with that, like a complete <laughs> crisis in confidence and all that <laughs> sort of jazz. But yeah. I pulled myself together, and yeah. the team got me um, uh, back on track with nutrition, which helped. Yeah. We went to some dry food for a while uh, and cut out a few other things like ice in the bottles, which was upsetting my stomach as well. That helped, uh, and then the run was okay but it was difficult to run because you were sort of uh, running it without trying to gain time or anything like that so it makes it more difficult mentally I think um, and then my leg started hurting uh, probably about mile 16 and it was like quite bad yeah I even took two painkillers first um, ones this week wasn't it first ones this week yeah mm which seemed to ease it up quite a bit, so that's good. Yeah, okay. So when this video goes out, it will be during the last day. James is currently on 7,000 pounds of fundraising, 
let's absolutely smash it. Oh, it Please, if you know somebody, if you know a business, if you know an individual, well good work, guys. So when this video goes out, it'll be on the final day. James has just crossed over seven thousand pounds of fundraising, which is incredible. Let's just do the last push because I'm not going to do one of these again. Mm. And I reckon <laughs> I bet these videos have entertained you. Yes. So if they have entertained you and you've got some fun out of them, mm. even if you have donated. Could you please just maybe find it in your heart to just donate a little bit more? Maybe another pound or 50p or a fiver or whatever is good for you. Mm -hmm going to help youth activities in my hometown of Alfreton, mm -hmm. uh, which is good for everybody in the long run, isn't it? Yeah. We want well, healthy kids, don't well, we? Tell somebody, tell your employer, oh, tell a yeah. local business, or any, any of that. I'm going to focus in all my day tomorrow on fundraising, so stay tuned for that. Everything will be in my Instagram link down below. A lot of on the day activity. See you there.